Perfect. Nice All right, let's bring in another greenie. Um, this one should be a little bit better. I'm gonna bring in. Um, no, let's bring in Jack. This this is uh, this is a super high drive male. Um, he's in a steadiness. Again, we're not in the steadiness package we would want to be introducing backing, but we wanted to show you in case you are in this scenario what it would look like. So this is Jax. Jax is all drive. He's all drive. Um, and here I'm going to take him from your own. Please. Yep. Okay. He is. He is. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to try to get this dog to attach to that silhouette with the scent. Once I have that pointing, I'm going to bring him out, and I'm going to bring him back, and we'll see if he makes the lesson here. Okay? Jack. He. He. Now i got him looking. So we'll see what we got. this for real after this procedure I would be when the dog came around the corner and he started charging in that bird would have been popped and flown away so the dog felt it caused the bird to fly and that would strengthen the point but right now just for this scenario we're trying to paint a picture so I'm gonna go back to him pick him up and we're gonna get him out of here and then we'll see if there's any learning that just happened because I can tell you looking into his eyes He's all bird. He's not making this silhouette yet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, actually, Blaine, if you can take him out of here, I'm getting rid of the bird. We'll see if the silhouette can be done. It might be early, but well, at least we get to see what, what we're dealing with. Do you wanna go, you wanna do it one more time? Okay. So we're gonna go back to do the same scenario over just to try to imprint it a little deeper. So what I'm going to do, try, is he's charging going in there. I'm going to try to slow him down. When he goes in there easy, I'll let him see it. Easy. Ah! Heal. See it right there? Leave it, come. And that's it. Did you want to do more with that one? Yeah, Alright, he's gonna try one more thing. Okay, so the question I have on the last one, was he attaching to the bird or was he attaching to the silhouette? So let's let's see if we get rid of the bird if he'll attach to the silhouette. 
Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber low pressure shot shells, Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the new sense of foot odor. Thorough Good, job fitted footwear handcrafted in America since 1892. Visit thoroughgoodusa.com for a dealer near you. Merkel Shotguns, made with pure passion and reliable craftsmanship that never fades. So, so what, uh, what Blaine's talking about right here is he's talking, uh, he, this is the reason you want to have a really strong obedience package going into this scenario, so you don't have to deal with this. And you should have strong pointing up to this point, where you can have a steady dog where you can handle the scenario, and he can go in and be handled. handled. Right now, he's just all drive. Um, I just think we are at where we're at with him. Um, let's bring in a different dog. We're going to bring you in. Right now, we have Bailey right here. Bailey from West Virginia. Turn him by the collar. And, uh, Leave it calm. Bailey is a two-year-old. He's been hunted a ton. I'm sure he's had some experience hunting with other dogs. Um, I don't know that for sure. Um, I don't know what will happen. We're going to play it by ear. But uh, he's two, year, two years old. Totally steady to wing and shot. So I imagine... That and she has a pretty strong pointing package, so I ima imagine when she sees this setup, she'll be pretty good about it. So I'm going to reintroduce the bird. So we're going to bring in Bailey. He's going to bring her on long lead. But I'm pretty sure we can do it without. We'll see. Not making, not, not, no understanding yet, so we'll get closer to it. Now we're going to try the same scenarios. She knows the picture. Maybe she'll go in and uh, point a little sooner this time. Hey, ready? Hey, ready? 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 Easy. Good job. Good job. Now she's all for me.
up. Bring her back. Bring her back. Uh, yeah. Good girl. You know, she's going to put the bird a little more stimulation, a little bit closer. <coughs> Eyes are on the silhouette. Whoa. Whoa. Good, take her back. Whoa. Yeah, the eyes are on the silhouette. Nice. Yep, take her back. Whoa. Get rid of the bird. Whoa. 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 There's the beginning of the back. Whoa. Whoa. Do, I quit. Yep, that would be it. So that's that's the that's as good, bad, and ugly right there. That that was a good development. Right there. So you can see how that developed uh, initially. Well, what is going on here to um, to being able to point? I thought it was a great here. idea where you said let's move that bird back up here. Yeah. Let's get it attached to the game and then yeah. move the game back at the target. Right. Right. Yeah. Cool. Good job. All right. Nice work. All right, so that's that's pretty much what we have for you for backing. Um, there, there's infinite number of in-betweens that we can't go over here. I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios where, where dogs that are blinking the back see that scenario. Oh, no. But where we would develop from here is we would bring out, um, we'd change places, surprise the dog, the flip-up ones, the have a dog on point, you know, really can scenario. Um, but it's a great introduction to, to how to get that that introductory backing and understanding of the concept. If they don't want to be in there, they're just not going to be right. any backing. And again, it's drive based, so don't steal yeah. the drive. And there's a couple scenarios he's like, get out, be done. And, and the point was, if we would have continued down that road, we would have went back the other direction. It would have been softer, more flagging, and then we would be not accomplishing what we came out here to accomplish. When do you quit? When they want more. When they want more. All right. Hey, thank you guys. Perfect. See you next time. <laughs> Folks, we just had a great training session uh, honoring backing with the Carter family. We want to thank them so much. Blaine, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Patty, thank you. You're welcome. And Jason, thank you very Absolutely. much. meeting Kennel, I've got their uh, information right across the screen here. If you need help with your pointing dog, come see the Carter family. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I, I hope you watched both parts. There's a lot there. It's always fun to visit the Carter family. They know what they're doing when it comes to training bird dogs. I want to thank my good friend, Stu Bristol, who helped on the camera and really contributed a lot to this two-part episode. I hope to meet you in the field someday. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, Peach Shoe Dryer, Thoroughgood Footwear, and Merkel Shotguns. <laughs>